And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Our specialist subjects tonight are the first leader of the Labour Party, a footballing knight of the realm, the most testing golf courses in the land, and the silent service. Our four competitors think they know their own subject, but they can't possibly know what's coming in the general knowledge round. They get two minutes on the first, two and a half minutes on the second. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Ellie Macken. Your occupation? Student. And your chosen subject? Sir Bobby Robson. The footballer and manager who was in charge of the England team at the 1990 World Cup. Starting now, against which team did Robson score two goals on his full international debut for England in 1957? France. Yep. Whose goal for Ipswich Town against Arsenal in 1978 gave him his only FA Cup final victory as either a player or manager? Roger Osborne. Yes. Robson was signed by West Brom for a club record transfer fee in 1956. How much was it reported to be? 250,000? Not that much, 25,000. Robson was heavily criticised for leaving a player out of the squad for his first game as England manager against Denmark in 1982. Which player? Uh, Brian Robson. Kevin Keegan. In 1997, he was made an honorary Master of Arts by which university? Newcastle. East Anglia. In Robson's first World Cup finals match as a manager in 86, England lost 1 0 to what team? Portugal. Yes. In 67, he became the player manager of a newly formed Canadian club, which soon experienced financial problems and he left having never taken charge of a competitive game. Which club was it? Vancouver Royals. Yes. Which country were the only team that England beat in normal time at the 1990 World Cup? They then needed extra time to beat Belgium and Cameroon before losing on penalties to West Germany in the semi-final. Egypt. Yep. What was Ipswich Town's lowest finishing position in Division 1 during Robson's 13 and a half year tenure as manager, it came in his second full season in charge. Six. Nineteen. With which team did he win consecutive Dutch league titles in 91 and 92? A PSV Eindhoven. Yes. Robson managed Sporting Lisbon from 92 to 93 and another Portuguese club from 94 to 96. Which club? Porto. Yes. In what year was he knighted for his services to football? A year later, he was inducted into the National Football Museum's Hall of Fame. 2005? 2, 2002. Which team did Newcastle United beat 8-0 in Robson's first home game in charge? Alan Shearer scored five of the goals. Sheffield Wednesday. Yes. Who was Robson's interpreter during his time working in Portugal and then at Barcelona, where his own coaching career took off? He referred affectionately to Robson as the mister. Jose Mourinho. Yeah. At the 1958 World Cup, Robson had a goal disallowed against the Soviet Union and then another in England's final group match against which team? Uh, Sweden? No, it was Austria. And you have no passes, Ellie. You have scored nine points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. name is? Isabel Morgan. Your occupation? I'm a part-time lecturer. And your chosen subject? The life of James K. Hardy. The first leader of the Labour Party way back in 1906. Two minutes on him starting now. What name is given to the series of strikes against a reduction in wages started by the miners in Hamilton, Lanarkshire and led by Hardy in 1879? Pass. Which leading communist struck up a friendship with Hardy in the 1880s described him as a super cunning Scot? Frederick Engels? Yes. Hardy wrote a regular column about mining for the Ardrossan and Saltcoats Herald during the 1880s and used a pseudonym to reflect his boyhood job in the mines. What was it? Trapper. Yes. In 1879, he married Lily Wilson, whom he'd met when they were both campaigners in what movement? The temperance movement. Yes. Hardy first entered Parliament as the MP for West Ham South in 1892 and beat a sitting Conservative MP in the general election that year. Which MP? Major Baines. Yes. What did he insist on singing at the end of the 1893 conference in Bradford that saw the foundation of the Independent Labour Party? Marciers? Old Lang Syne. What is the title of the book published in 1907 in which he tried to outline his political philosophy? 
from serfdom to socialism? Yes. With whom did Hardy begin a close relationship at the turn of the century? She painted a portrait of him that hangs in the National Portrait Gallery. Sylvia Pankhurst. Yes, he was able to stand in both Preston and Merthyr Tidwell in the 1900 general election because of a gift of £150 from an industrialist. Who was he? Rantry. No, Cadbury. Who, what was the name of the sect founded by the Reverend James Morrison that Hardy joined? He wrote that he was brought up an atheist converted to Christianity, 1878. Evangelical Union. Yes. Which Labour politician once told Hardy that he'd be known as the leader who never won a strike, organised a union, governed a parish or passed a bill? Ramsay MacDonald. John Burns. Hardy's pamphlet, subtitled Impressions and Suggestions, is a critique of British rule over which country? India. Yes. Hardy became the first chairman of the Labour Party when he won a leadership ballot in 1906 by one vote. What was the name of the Weavers' Union official that he defeated? No. It's gone. Gone. I can tell you. Take it as past. David Shackleton. And the name given to the series of strikes back in 1879 was the Tatty Strikes. Oh. Anyway, Isabel, you have scored eight points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Alan Wright. Your occupation? Advice Session Supervisor. And your chosen subject? Lynx Golf Courses of Great Britain and Ireland. More than 200 of them, apparently, mostly on the coast and all very demanding. Here we go, two minutes on that subject. Which Scottish Lynx course last hosted the Open Championship in 1925? It was the 24th time it had been held there. Prestwick. Yep. What was the name of the member of Wallasey Golf Club who devised a popular scoring system? The club used it for the first time in a competition in May 1932. Dr Stapleford. Yes. Jose Maria Olotabel won the amateur championship in 1984 at an English golf club that has a ladies course completely within the boundaries of the Lynx course. Which golf club? Formby. Yep. Which golfer's second shot on the penultimate hole of the 1926 Open Championship is commemorated by a plaque on the 17th fairway at Royal Lytham and St Anne's Club? Bobby Jones. Yep. Which course in County Kerry has a par three known as the Mass Hole? It's where local Catholics used to celebrate mass baptisms and weddings in the 18th century while they were forbidden from publicly doing so. Waterville. Yes. The championship course at the Felixstowe Ferry Golf Club takes its name from the Napoleonic Tower that dominates its landscape. What's the course called? Felix Stowe Ferry. Martello. What is the name of the seventh and newest of the courses at St Andrews which opened in 2008? Castle. Yep. The Carnegie Links open in 1992 are in the grounds of a Scottish castle on the banks of the Donoch Firth. Which castle? Skibo. Yes. What is the name of the 15th hole at North Berwick Golf Club that's been copied all over the world as the model for a par three with an angled layout? The Redan. Yep. Which course in Northern Ireland became the first outside England and Scotland to host the Open Championship in 1951? The Open will return there in 2019. Royal Portrush. Yes. What other sporting venue shares part of the ground taken up by the Great Yarmouth and Caister Golf Course? It's a race course. It is. What is the name of the notoriously difficult 126-yard eighth hole at Royal Troon? It's so-called because of the size of the putting area. The postage stamp. Yes. There are two golf links in Wales with the royal prefix. Royal Porth Call is one. What's the other? Royal St David's. Yep. Which golf course features a bunker called the Himalaya? It's said to be the largest in Europe and was designed by James Braid. St Enadoc. Yes. And you're out of time and you have no passes. You have scored, Alan, 13 points. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Stephen Simons. Your occupation? S uh, security supervisor. And your chosen subject? British submarine since 1945. In two minutes starting now, what was the name of the first British nuclear-powered submarine? It was built with a pressurised water reactor following the mutual defence agreement with the United States in 1958. Hitchmiss Dreadnought. Yes. Which torpedo was first developed in the 80s by GEC Marconi as a more reliable replacement for the Tiger fish it's currently used by British submarines? Spearfish. Yes. In 1951, a submarine was lost on a training exercise 
capsize in the English Channel with no survivors. Which submarine? HMS Afraid. Yes. What international crisis in 1956 involved an Anglo-French plan for a while codenamed Operation Musketeer in which a number of British submarines were deployed? Suez Crisis. Yes. Which nuclear-powered submarine took part in the search for the missing Malaysian airliner MH370 during her final deployment before she was decommissioned? Talent. It was Talent. No, HMS Tireless. What guided cruise missile system was deployed by the Royal Navy for the first time when HMS Splendid attacked Serbian forces in the Kosovo campaign? Cruise missiles. Tomahawk. What was the class name of the 2,000-tonne diesel electric submarines launched in the 1950s? They featured air conditioning for the crew. Oberon class. Porpoise class. During the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, a Canadian port was the base for two Royal Navy submarines taking part in a Canadian-led task force. Which port? Nova Scotia. Halifax. In 2010, what was the last Swiftshore class submarine to be decommissioned? HMS Sovereign. Scepter. Which site in Scotland was chosen by the Admiralty Board in 1963 as the operating base for submarines equipped with the Polaris nuclear missile Fuzzling. system? Yes. HMS Audacious was launched at Barrow in April 2017. It's the fourth vessel of which class of submarines to be completed? Astute class. Yes. Which Prime Minister obtained the support of his cabinet to replace Trident with the successor programme in association with the American Ohio replacement program. Margaret Thatcher. It was Tony Blair. Who commanded HMS Conqueror, whose torpedo sank the Belgrano during the Falklands conflict? Chris Refford Brown. Yes. What's the code name for the standing order which could empower the Prime Minister to use an authentication code for the launch of Trident missiles? A pass. Well, I can tell you because you're out of time. It's your only pass, in fact. Relentless. Operation Relentless. Yep. Just that one pass, Stephen. You've got seven points. <laughs> So we're now at the stage where we invite all our contenders back into the studio for the first time in this programme together. It is now, of course, the general knowledge round. Two and a half minutes of questions, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes becomes the winner, and if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And remember that the contenders do not know what each other has scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score. So, let's ask our first contender to return to the black chair, who is Stephen. And it can now be disclosed that you, Stephen, have seven points and you have uh, two and a half minutes of general knowledge questions to soar ahead. Here we go. The term intestate is used to describe a person who's died without making a valid form of what legal document? Will. Yeah. The first of which series of novels begins Mr and Mrs Dursley of number four Privet Drive were proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. Harry Potter. Yes. IBS is a common long-term condition of the digestive system. What do the initials stand for? Irritable bowel syndrome. Yes. Somerset Maugham's novel The Moon and Sixpence is loosely based on the life of which French painter? Renoir. Gauguin. By what name is the Jewish festival of Pesach known in English? Passover. Yes. What Latin phrase that means bounteous mother is used to describe a place where a person was educated? Alma Mater. Yes. In which 1981 film directed by Terry Gilliam does John Cleese play Robin Hood and Sean Connery play King Agamemnon? Time Bandit. Yep. A vine that produces black grapes used in winemaking has a name that comes from the French for blackbird. What is it? Merlot. Yeah. The town and island of Nantucket that lies off Cape Cod, Massachusetts, was the centre of an industry in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. What industry? Whelan. Yes. Which 16th century Flemish artist later works include Hunters in the Snow and Magpie on the Gallows? Rembrandt. Bruegel. Who retained the Olympic women's boxing flyweight gold medal? She won at the London Olympics in 2012 at the Rio Games four years later. Tracy Adams. Uh, Nicola Adams. Who joked when he was approaching the end of his term of office in 2016 that in his new job he would like a nice corner office, or at least an office that has corners in it. Barack Obama. Yes. Tartini's Sonata in G minor, known as the Devil's Trill, is one of the most challenging pieces of music for a soloist. On what instrument? Flute. Violin. In August 2014, who played her first live concert for 35 years at the same London venue where she played her last one? Shirley Bassey. Kate Bush. Which business executive's loyal secretary, Joan Greengross, was played by Sue Nichols in the late 1970s television comedy series? 
Pass. In which city is the Harland and Wolf shipyard where most of the ships for the White Star Line, such as the Titanic, were built? Belfast. Yes. Which poet, who won the Military Cross during the First World War, was sent to a sanatorium because his pacifist views were attributed to shell shock? Rupert Holm. Siegfried Sassoon. What island in the Indian Ocean was the home of the now extinct bird, the dodo? Galapagos. Mauritius. Which station was opened in 1854 as the London terminus of the Great Western Railway? Pannington. Yes. Testudo was the name given to the Roman soldiers' formation where they covered their heads with their shields as a protection against arrows and other missiles. What does the word testudo mean? Head covering. Tortoise. One pass, Sue Nichols played the part of Reggie Perrin's loyal secretary. Just that one pass, Stephen, you have a total of 18 points. <laughs> and next in the chair is Isabel with uh, eight points. And uh, the score to beat as it stands is 18 and you have two and a half minutes in which to do it. What colour lamps are traditionally associated with British police stations? Blue. Yes. What type of offal is used in a pie or pudding along with steak in a dish considered a speciality of British cuisine? Kidney. Yep. The 17th century sculptor Gian Lorenzo Benini created many of the fountains that stand in the centre of which Italian city? Rome. Yes. Who had his first solo UK number one hit in 1984 with I Just Called to Say I Love You? Lionel Richie? Stevie Wonder. <laughs> the actor Jason Statham represented England at the 1990 Commonwealth Games in what aquatic sport? Swimming. Diving. Which American writer's third wife was the war correspondent Martha Gellhorn? He met her during the Spanish Civil War, later dedicated his novel For Whom the Bell Tolls to her. Hemingway. Yes. What is the capital city of Liberia? It was founded in 1822 as a settlement for freed American slaves and is named after the American president of the time. Monrovia. Yes. On a state visit to Canada in July 1967, who encouraged separatists when he concluded a speech in Montreal with the words Vive le Québec libre? De Gaulle. Yes. Which Swiss ski resort traditionally hosts the World Economic Forum every January? It's attended by the world's leading politicians, business leaders and academics. Davos. Yes. Which multi-stringed Indian instrument takes its name from the Persian for three-stringed and was used by the Beatles on Norwegian wood? Pass. The yellow-flowered shrub rose Togmeister was named in whose honour in 2010? Pass. What is the name of the estuary that begins at the confluence of the rivers Ouse and Trent and reaches the North Sea beyond Hull? The Wash. The Humber. What alternative word for attendant may be used poetically for a source of strength or power? Sinew. Sinew, yeah. Which Italian actress plays the title role of the 1960 film comedy The Millionaire S, in which she co-stars with Peter Sellers? Svaloren. Yeah. According to the Book of Genesis, one of the descendants of Adam lived until he was 969 years old. What was his name? Cain. Methuselah. <laughs> which Australian-born soprano made her operatic debut in Purcell's Dido and Aeneas in Sydney in 1947? Joan... Sutherland? Yes. What is the name of the mischievous schoolboy who ousted Biffo the Bear from the front page of the Beano comic in 1974? Dennis the Menace? Yep. In December 2010, which small emirate was chosen to host the 2022 Football World Cup? Qatar. He is correct. You had two passes. That um, Togmeister Rose was named after Terry Wogan. You remember his togs? And the multi string Indian instrument was the sitar. <laughs> you now have, Isabel, a total of 20 points. <laughs> and next in the chair is Ellie again. And, Ellie, you start this round with nine points. The score to beat is 20. Here we go. A true cockney must traditionally be born within the sound of what? Bobals. Yep. What name is given to the melted fat from roasting meat, particularly beef, which, when it's cold, can be spread like butter? 
Uh, Trifling. Yes. King Arthur is said to have been taken to a mythical island to heal his wounds after his final battle. Which island? Avalon. Yes. Vincent Massif, discovered in 1935, is the highest peak in which continent? Antarctica. Yes. What nickname was given to King William II, supposedly because of his ruddy complexion? Rufus. Yes. Which 2018 comedy series features the 16-year-old Erin Quinn and her family and friends? It's set during the Troubles in Northern Ireland in the early 90s. Pass. What is the title of the novel by James Clavell based on the exploits of the English seaman William Adams, who's believed to have been the first Briton to visit Japan in 1600? Um, the Shogun. Yes. Which city's airport is Britain's third busiest after Heathrow and Gatwick? It was known as Ringway Airport when it opened in 1938. Liverpool? Manchester. While on the moon during the Apollo 14 mission, the astronaut Alan Shepard hit an object that, in his own words, flew for miles and miles and miles. What object? Golf ball. Yep. The photojournalist Arthur Fellig, known as Ouija, became famous for his stark depictions of life in the streets of which American city during the 30s and 40s? New York. Yes. What sport of Asian origin is divided into periods called chuckers? Polo. Yep. The name of a type of ornamental work made by knotting and weaving coarse thread into a pattern is thought to come from the Turkish for towel. What's it called? Muslim? Macrame. Whose novel, Cranford, was first serialised in Charles Dickens' magazine Household Words between 1851 and 1853? Elizabeth Gaskell. Yes. What word of old and English origin for a hillock also refers to a grave mound or tumulus? Tomb? Barrow. In what classic film is Toto the dog, played by a Cairn terrier called Terry, who also appeared in a number of other Hollywood films? Pass. Who equaled Shirley Bassey's and Petula Clark's record of 12 UK top 10 singles by a British female artist with her collaboration with Liam Payne on For You in February 2018? Adele? Rita Ora. Which of Beethoven's symphonies composed in 1808 is known as the Pastoral? Oh, uh, Beethoven? The sixth. What type of animal is Wallace, who ate young Albert Ramsbottom in the monologue performed by Stanley Holloway? A uh, lion. Yeah. The political campaigning organisation 38 Degrees takes its name from the critical angle that might cause a deadly phenomenon to be triggered in the mountains in winter or spring. What phenomenon? Uh, avalanches. Avalanches, correct. You had uh, two passes, Ellie. That film with Toto the dog in it was The Wizard of Oz. Of course. Of course. And uh, that uh, comedy series, 2018 comedy series, was Derry Girls. You now have a total, Ellie, of 21 points. And finally, into the chair, Alan. And uh, you start out with 13 points. And the score to beat, if you are to get into the semi-finals, is now 21. Well, let's see if you can do it. Here we go. The name of what type of radiation is often abbreviated to UV? Ultraviolet. Yes. What dessert is known as la glace in French? Ice cream. Yes. What name is given to any muscle with three points of origin, especially the large muscle that extends along the back of the upper arm in humans? Humorous. Triceps. The Metical is the unit of currency of a Southeast African country that was once a Portuguese colony, is now a member of the Commonwealth. Which country? Mozambique. Yes. Maria Ann Smith gives her name to a tart green variety of a fruit that she found growing in her garden in Australia in the 1860s. What fruit? Granny Smith's apple. Yep. Which Briton is the most successful sailor in Olympic history? He won medals at five games between 1996 and 2012, including four golds from 2000 to 2012. Sir Ben Ainsley. Yes. Hoy, famous for its sea stack known as the Old Man, is the second largest island in what group? Orkney. Yep. The fiscal watchdog formed in May 2010 to make an independent assessment of the public finances and the economy is called the OBR, which stands for Office for Budget... Responsibility. Yes. Who won the 1989 Booker Prize for his novel, The Remains of the Day? Kazuo Ishiguro. Yes. A murder is the collective noun for a breed of generally solitary, dark-coloured birds. What birds? Crows. Yes. Sir John Franklin's ill-fated expedition of 1845 to 47 is credited with proving the existence of a sea route that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans through the Canadian Arctic. Which route? Northwest Passage. Yes. Which English character actor has played Dennis Thatcher in The Iron Lady, John Bailey in Iris and Bridget's father in Bridget Jones' Diary? Pass. What animal with its young is featured cut in half in Damien Hirst's work Mother and Child Divided? 
Cow. Yes. For what construction project does the first book of kings say that Hiram, the king of Tyre, provided Solomon with men and materials? Uh, the Temple. Yes. Which band had their only UK number one single in 1969 with Blackberry Way? The Move. Yes. Cliff Morgan was one of the original captains on a question of sport and a former boxing champion was the other. What was his name? Henry Cooper. He was. What organs of the body are affected by the debilitating condition macular degeneration? The eye. Yeah. Which American-born violinist and conductor who settled in England founded the school of music named after him at Stoke Dabernon in Surrey? Pass. In which Jane Austen novel does the heroine reject Henry Crawford's proposal of marriage and eventually marry her true love, Edmund Bertram? Ansfield Park. Yes. What alternative name for the side drum is taken from the string stretched across the parchment at its ends? Snare. Yep, the snare drum. Two passes, Alan Menuhin. Yehudi Menuhin was the American-born violist and conductor. And Jim Broadbent. Jim Broadbent. Played everybody's father or brother or whatever it was. Alan, you've now got a total of 30 points. You are the winner. <laughs> well... No questions about that victory. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, with 18 points, Stephen. Third place, 20 points, Isabel. Second place, 21 points, Ellie. First place with a whopping 30 points, Alan. And he goes through, of course, to the semi-finals. <laughs> If you would like to be a contender in the next series, you don't have to score 30 points. Do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.